Welcome to a special episode of Homemade Movies. We're gonna be counting down our top 10 favorite wigs from past episodes. Cue the wigs! Starting off the countdown at number 10 is Paul Walker. That's the blonde wig that I wore in our Fast and Furious scene. This was a pretty easy costume because all I needed was the wig and a black t-shirt. Put it on and you're done. Hop in, we're going for a ride. Since I was supposed to be riding in a car for this, I needed the wind to be flowing through my hair. So we tried a variety of methods. It's like not doing anything. But in the end, it was using a hair dryer pointed right at my face that got those golden locks flowing. Coming in at number nine is Superman Crowd. Now I know it's not just one wig, but there are too many amazing wigs in this to count. We had like 10 or 11 people here inside my house and we just got out the bag of wigs and everyone was trying on these wigs and inventing wacky characters for themselves. Wow! So what is the name of your new uh, classic rock album? Oh, it's called Oh Baby. It's called Oh Baby? Pretty much each person wore a different wig in every single shot, so we could make it look like a lot more people. So I'm gonna do cue cards. And now for the $34,000 question. So between takes, you just switch wigs. It was kind of like musical wigs that night. Just everyone swapping, coming up with new characters. Welcome to <laughs> put on some glasses, put on a wig, change your shirt. My good friend Nick, I think, won the prize that night for most wacky characters and most wigs worn. The dream of my life was the bag of wigs. <laughs> That's not even half the wigs, by the way. Oh so we could be here all day. Favorite wig number eight is Pita in our homemade Catching Fire trailer. Now, this wig actually started out as a longer, curlier wig. So we hacked this wig down to a shorter, more manageable length and left the long front and sort of used a lot of hairspray and actually flattened it under some books for like a day or two to try and get it to stick up flat. So I wasn't sure if that one was gonna work out, but when we finally put it on Chris's head, it turned out to look pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's really more like a, like an early Ryan Seacrest, <laughs> American Idol. I love it. A couple weeks later, I used this same wig and cut it even shorter for the part of Ash in our alien chestburster scene, and Chris wore that one again. Number seven on our list is Crazy Biker Dude from our Terminator 2 scene. He also wears a cool beard in this one. It looked like Apollo or something. <laughs> but the beard was originally more gray, so we sprayed it blonde, and then the crazy mullet wig that we got was more blonde, and we sprayed it gray to try to get him to match somewhere in the middle. That is one sweet mullet. That scene had a ton of crazy wigs in it. Everybody was wearing wigs, and even Chris wore a handful himself, but Crazy Biker Mullet Dude was our favorite. Take it! Coming in at number six is Bruce Willis in our homemade Die Hard scene. Now this wig was a challenge because it's fairly simple. It's just a receding hairline, kind of short, kind of curly. It started out as a curly wig that was in our alien chestburster scene. I'm going to attempt to turn this beautiful wig into a Bruce Willis wig. And then I just cut it a little shorter and actually cut the hairline out. So once we put that on Chris, who is bald, it looks very Bruce Willis-y. Come out to the coast, we'll have a few laughs. When I cut the hairline out for Bruce Willis, I saved that leftover piece of wig and it came in very handy later when we did our homemade Jaws scene and it made perfect sideburns for the old grizzly character of Quint. Number five on our list is Dr. Emmett Brown from our homemade Back to the Future scene. This is an awesome wig which accompanies an awesome impression of Doc Brown by our friend Piat. Great Scott party! We gotta go! It started out a little rough. It looked more like Bozo the Clown, kind of really stuck out far. So I just cut the sides and kind of made it more wispy, get that mad scientist look. And then we added a little poof right in the middle. I think I cut some hair off the back and just glued it to the front there. That crazy mad scientist hair did flow pretty well in that wind because we had a big wind machine out there. Number four on our list is the Jeff Goldblum wig from our homemade Jurassic Park scene. This is a big crazy wig. It's huge and curly and Luke is a tall guy. So it was a pretty crazy getup when you get him all in the leather jacket and crunching him down in that dress park vehicle. This wig didn't totally match Jeff Goldblum's hair in the movie, but we thought it was hilarious. Hello? <gasps> yes? Number three on our list is the entire fellowship from our Lord of the Rings trailer. Now I know it's not a single wig, but it was too hard to narrow down. We had tons of wigs in one shot. There are lots of characters in this one single shot, which means lots of costumes and lots of wigs. Every single person had a wig. One of the funniest wig-beard combos we've had is Gimli in this shot. He's got the full action going on. Funny enough, we used a blonde lady's wig on a lady to play a guy in this shot. It was Legolas. Number two on our list is our famous Captain Kirk wig. Now, this is one of the more ridiculous wigs we've ever done, and it's quickly become one of our favorites. It just looks so bad, and this wig was not made to be cut in any way, and it started out much longer, and I just cut it short. And it turns out that leaves a lot of gaps and holes, and just a weird mess all over. Initially, I didn't think it was gonna work at all until Chris showed up to put it on. I wonder, <laughs> oh my god. 
Right, this is great. So bad. What happens if we uh, try it turned around? <laughs> you put it on mostly backwards where there's a poof in the front that all the hair kind of emanates from and it sort of looked like maybe that's just where the hair parted or something and in a weird way it actually worked and added to why that character was so funny. Mixed with those crazy fake eyebrows, that wig doesn't quite look like Captain Kirk but it's quickly become one of our favorites and that's why it is number two on our list. How about this, you got business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> Worst party ever. <laughs> so now the moment you've all been waiting for, the number one wig on our top 10 favorite wigs is Chewbacca from our homemade Star Wars scene. Because he's only in one shot, we didn't need to make a whole costume that you could wear for any long period of time, we just needed to sit down in one shot. We actually used one of our dreadlock kind of wavy brown hair wigs and turned it around backwards and put it on my friend Steven's face and made a little mouth made some little eyeballs, and that was it. <laughs> this wig was in one of our early episodes in the Terminator 2 biker bar scene. One of the main biker guys who plays pool, he was wearing this wig. So even though in that long Star Wars scene, it's only in one shot, it quickly became a fan favorite. You guys have commented that you really like that Chewbacca. So that is why it's number one on our top 10 favorite wigs. And that's our top 10 favorite wigs. Thanks for joining us. Subscribe to Cinefix for new homemade movies every Tuesday. Now I have quite the mess to clean up.